Hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. I hope you're having a fabulous Thursday. I keep forgetting what day it is. I'm, not, I'm going to be honest with you because um, it's Frank Friday today for me. It is a Thursday, but there's no cartload tonight. It's cartload tomorrow. We're just a bit, we're just a bit discombobulated, Michelle, aren't we? We've been all over the shop, I think. We are. I'm loving this new, is this a new jumper? It is. I thought I'd, I oh. thought I'd do the, the winter look. Yeah, you're yeah, we're doing it very, very well. Thank I need some new much. jumpers. I'm going to go shopping this weekend. Lovely to have Michelle back uh, in the building with us. Uh, loads happening. Of course, this is a masterclass all featuring decoupage. So decoupage has been something maybe you've had a go at before and you found it a bit of a struggle or a challenge or you haven't given it a go yet, uh, then this is definitely going to be the show for you. So we're going to spend two hours uh, pretty much focusing uh, on that technique, which is awesome. Lots of other things that I need to tell you about. Don't forget about the winter sale that's running over on the website at the moment up to 70% off selected lines and new products being added every single day over there. So make sure you go and check that out. Also, uh, I know that Club Inspire points have just reset. So uh, lots of you are making it to platinum. Uh, what I would say is that if you do place an order throughout January and you are a Club Inspire member, we'll credit you uh, with a bonus 250 points at the beginning of February. Uh, so that's definitely worth bearing in mind if you're gonna treat yourself to a little something something uh, over the next few weeks. But as I said, uh, myself and Michelle here with you for the next couple of hours all things decoupage michelle so what we're going to be looking at over the next couple of hours um do you know what joe i think i forgot what to do it's been that Why? long since when i've been here <laughs> it's been two weeks has it been two weeks now i do know what to do really it just <laughs> i just made georgina panic a little bit no i'm fine but you know when you just it's been oh, two it's, weeks it took me a, it yeah. took me a couple of days to get settled back couldn't talk for the first day <laughs> I'd forgotten how. I, I watched. I, I saw that. Couldn't get words out. <laughs> no, you were fabulous as always. Thank you. Thank you. So decoupage. So uh, we're gonna gonna do a few different um, projects today for you. So we're gonna show you how uh, to use it to make a lovely tag, and we're gonna make a little bag for this to go with. And then we've got this one. So it's a lovely box, and we've got that aperture cut out in the middle. And um, so when you open it out, obviously you've got your beautiful card in there. Uh, again, with that beautiful um, decoupage on there. And then we're going to show you how to make this card. Oh, that's beautiful. So we've got a nice big aperture out the front and then we've used the uh, middle of that aperture to use um, as a background to have your decoupage on. And then we've got this one as well. So to just have it on this, um, this little invisible holdy up bit in the middle an invisible <laughs> holdy up bit yes. like should we call it an illusion tenfold card that's it we'll call okay. it that all right brilliant. i can't think of the word illusion uh, the uh <laughs> invisible holdy up bit card yes. well i'm looking forward to the invisible holdy up bit card the most out of all of them i think if you want to get in touch with us uh, you can do so all the usual ways crafters tv over on facebook crafters companion uh, if you are across on youtube lots of you saying hi already ben is in the building hi ben have a good <laughs> christmas uh carletta saying hi everyone georgie Anne's in too treasure heart saying hi shadaya uh, saying hello as well so did you have a nice christmas michelle a new year i did i did i had a wonderful christmas so i had my eldest over with us as well which was his and his wife nice and that's still so strange to say really? my son and his wife yeah wow i mean he's 20 he's 25 this month oh but um he i don't know do your kids ever seem mature enough to get married i'm not sure <laughs> i mean i don't have any to my knowledge uh but uh, <laughs> let me know <laughs> <laughs> to my knowledge uh, let me I mean it's highly unlikely uh, <laughs> anyway let's change the subject Michelle always ends up getting me in trouble she does um, I'll tell you what let's if you've done uh, any kind of decoupage uh, I'd like to see some pictures of it why don't we share pictures of all of our wonderful uh, decoupage makes I uh, send them into me studio at craftscompanion.co.uk details are there along the bottom of your screen we're going to start off we're going to create uh, we're going to focus a lot as you saw uh, on the floral decoupage now we've got the full collection of this available for you which is excellent Excellent. So I'm going to take you through exactly what you are getting in here. So with each collection, you're getting the pad itself, which comes to you uh, looking like this, 48 sheets uh, in the pad. Then, of course, within there, you get the dies. So you overlay the dies over the pad, cut it out, build it together, and you've got this awesome uh, creation just here. What you've then also got in here is the stamps as well. So if you wanted to stamp this imagery out, 
then lay these over and cut it out and colour them yourselves, you've got the option to do that as well. So uh, you've got a few different things you can do, or of course you can use the stamps on their own, it's completely up to you. This is your precious poppies that you've got just here. Uh, then we've also got in here the roses in bloom, which is this one here. Great that you've got the stamps and dies for this, because of course roses can be coloured up in lots and lots of different ways, as can the poppies. The beautiful lilies are these ones here, my all-time favourite flower, I think they are just stunning. And you've also then got springes here, which is this sort of gorgeous posy uh, of mixed flowers, things like your tulips in there, which are divine. 75 99 108 95 if you want to get your hands on the full collection. Best way to get the best value is, of course, to uh, get that full collection. What I would say is they are available in their smaller collections as well. Details were along the bottom of the screen as you went through. You'll find details for that on the website. If you went for this and you're running low on just the pads, the pads are available on their own as well over on the website. So everything is available individually should you wish to go and grab some restocks on those. Right, Michelle, I think it's time we stopped, uh, you know, catching up and uh, cracked on. What would you like to start with? Um, so I think we will start, we'll do the tag first. We'll start nice and simple. Ease me back into it, not necessarily you. <laughs> um, so I've got my decoupage topper pad here and I've got the Precious Poppies um, die set that goes with it. So obviously your topper pad, you open it up. Um, I don't, if you've not seen these before, it's very, very simple, a nice, simple, easy concept that we've got here. So we've got the die set and we've got the topper pad. So if you take one of your sheets out of your topper pad, you can see that they're all numbered, um, which makes then, they, I mean, you really don't need the numbers, but that helps you with the layering up so you know which, which piece goes first. And again, I know sometimes they can get your decoupage can get a little bit tricky with all the different elements that you can cut out, but the, obviously the numbers are there, so it's making it a lot easier for you uh, to do. It's really taking any difficultiness. Difficultiness? Yeah. <laughs> That'll do. Anything hard has been taken away. It's just all been simplified. So when you take your die out of the packet, you'll notice that all of them have got this little little tab almost just there just there and that is that can you see you can see that look at george on that joystick fabulous george of the joystick <laughs> oh yeah he's re <laughs> he's re refocused and repoised after his uh, breakaway he is gorgeous george of the joystick yeah absolutely <laughs> he loves so, that name yeah I don't blame him. <laughs> so your little tab there is what's going to go over your number. And again, that number's there to make this process foolproof. So I'm just going to get my tape because we're going to tape these in place. So your little tab is going to go over your number and then this all lays up, and lays down perfectly. So there you've got number one. And these... Um, quite simple you can see exactly which ones are for what so we've got number two and again you can see i've got a little tab just there let me put that just oh, yeah, there so you've that. got your little tab and that's going to go over your number two i mean even without the tabs and the number these lay down quite easily but again all that guesswork uh, has been taken out for you nice and simple so again you can see that that's my tab it's going to go over my number three and then we're going to tape it down and then again so number four the last one so that is my little tab and it's going to go over there so it couldn't really be simpler yeah very straightforward something that anyone can definitely have a go at I'm guessing as well, obviously, if you, you cut the sheet in half, don't cut through your flowers, obviously, but something that could go into your mini as well, so if you want a little project on the go that you can do in front of the TV. Yes, absolutely. If you cut your little pad up, they will all go through the mini, definitely. So it's nice to sit in front of the telly on a night with a cup of tea or gin. Or gin. Um, and, and cut things like these out. Cut them out, make them up, and then they're there for when, when you want them. No gin for me. I'm doing dry January this oh, month. Oh, are you? Michelle, yeah. Oh. I must admit, I'm not a big drinker. No. Uh, it's not that I'm against it. It's just that I only need one drink and I'm like three sheets to the wind, so... <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'm a nice... Cheap date. Yeah, I was going to say I'm a nice cheap date. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to run this through. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, we're yeah. in that we're in that sort of full on winter uh, vibe now, aren't we? It's so yes. so chilly oh. out there. Yeah. So snowing, chilly. really. It's snowing outside today. Snowing, yeah, it is indeed. <laughs> uh, Renee says I love the decoupage sets. Just made a card for my daughter's anniversary. I have this set and the caring thought set. Uh, Linny saying hi, Joe Michelle and the CTV crew. I love these decoupage sheets. They are lots of fun. Definitely something I reckon you could just make a load up of, Michelle, yeah. and just have them in your stash whenever you need. Just that little embellishment. Yes, make a focal point at them if you want to, but just for finishing off a project, they're the perfect size, aren't they? They really are. They're um, perfect size for matting and layering on, um, you know, so our nesting dies, mat and layer them up and then put it in the middle and you've yeah. got a nice focal point. Or like you just said, you can definitely use them as embellishments just as... Um, I do with a bit of ribbon, add one of these on instead. You can't beat a bit of ribbon. So yeah, uh, or we've, I mean, these are a nice alternative to our flower dyes. I mean, you can't beat a good flower dye, but if you don't want to put those kind of dyes on, definitely look at these as, as that decorative element rather than uh, the flower dyes. So we've got all our little pieces cut out here. So we're going to bring in our bone folding tool and we're going to curve them. We're going to gently just curve, give them some nice um, rounded edges, some nice dimension on there. Now you don't have to do this, but I discovered this actually a couple of months ago. I always put my decoupage on flat and I loved it. And then um, one day everyone had been curling theirs. I'd been watching one of our shows. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have a go. And I just love the effect. So now everything that's decoupage gets um, a lovely curve. I use the, uh, George has just asked me if I do a lot. I use these a lot. I absolutely adore these. If I'm doing something and I want a flower embellishment, I've started going to these instead because it's a okay. nice alternative. Yeah. Uh, and maybe, you know, obviously, um, foam flowers definitely have their place. Yes. Uh, these are a little bit quicker, maybe, when you want to get the same effect, but you want something that's a little bit faster, these would be great. I bet these would be great used with your glossy highlights, these, as well. Oh, definitely. Definitely for, like, the centres of your flowers. Oh, do you know what I like using glossy highlights for? Um, to make it look like you've got those little dew drops of nice. rain on your petals. That always looks lovely. Uh, Sandra says, is there a number tag on the stamp to line up the die? There isn't, because then it would stamp out uh, the number, which you don't want. But you can clearly um, see when you overlay them. When you put the other, the stamped image as well, you just stamp out the full image, don't you, Michelle? And then you lay the die over. So it's very, very straightforward still if you want to use a stamped image and yeah. then uh, lay it over the top. Oh, absolutely. Definitely. I mean, I can show you that um, in a little bit how easy that is does. I do have a project I didn't show you but I do have a project where I've used the stamps oh, instead of the decoupage so you can see how uh, just using the stamp from the set you can get a, a beautiful project so I'm going to show you that I forgot to show you that one earlier so I thought I'd, I thought I'd ease myself right <laughs> back in but I knew I'd forget something <laughs> so what I've got here so we've put some in fact before we bring that in we need to obviously add um, our foam pads Matt and layer these up so that's my biggest one. So I'm going to bring the next size in there. Um, I've, I was a little bit keen with my bone folder and I've just popped that out a little bit. I don't know if you can see my... So all I'm going to do is when I put my foam pad on the back, where you can see it's just separated a little bit, once I've got my foam pad on there, it's not. It's stuck it back down and it's absolutely fine. So if you get a little bit keen like me, don't worry about it. As we all know, I've got a... A resolution for everything that goes wrong. So, uh, if you did like those. foam pads, what else could you use here, Michelle? Um, chunky glue. Chunky you glue. You can use right. our chunky glue. <laughs> so let's just lay that, and it's it's really easy and straightforward to layer these up. You can see exactly where it's going. Uh, let me just uh, Mary Lee saying, I love to add tri-blend highlights to the coloured image or even change the colour completely. That's yes. a good point, isn't it? Don't think about going over or an no. already coloured image with, a, with an alcohol marker, but nice, you've got the option. Absolutely, and I'll tell you what else looks nice as well. Our colour blend pencils. Oh, yes. They're brilliant for highlighting those. So on here, where the, you've got those darker elements, beautiful for highlighting those up, definitely. So, yeah, bringing all, you can bring all of your stuff into... Um, with to use with these definitely 
So that's that one. And as you can see, if I turn it to the side, how it's curving. It just, it's lovely. I just adore these. And I wasn't a fan of decoupage before. Uh, but I got these pads, and I must admit, I know this sounds awful, I was like, decoupage? No. Mm. But the first time I used them, I was like, oh my God, they're beautiful. And so easy. they take the difficultiness out of it. <laughs> yeah. Take the what out? Difficultiness. Difficultiness. <laughs> yes. They make it easy, is that what you're saying? Yes, they do. Fabulous. So, for my uh, <laughs> leaves, I'm just, so obviously that's my biggest one. I've just cut this down. Obviously we do have some really small foam pads, but I've got my big ones here, which I prefer because I can just cut them down if I want to. So bob that on there. And then again, so just cutting my foam pad down to get this one on. Did that's, you uh, have Christmas dinner at home? I did. Ben cooked, of course. He did, um, what did he do? He did a turkey, he did some beef, and I think we had some, <laughs> we did. <laughs> we had the most amazing sticky toffee pudding for dessert. Ben made it, yeah. <laughs> we, um, I was really fancying some and we had no ingredients in at all. Uh, we had none in at all and Ben was like, oh, I can do that, I've got the ingredients. And I was, but I can't eat it without custard. He says, no, it's fine, I'll make some custard. I'm like, you can't make custard. He made the world's most amazing custard, can I just say. Absolutely, all from scratch. Yeah. <laughs> You're just talking to yourself over there, you know. No, I'm, I'm, ta I, I do a, I'm talking to George in my ear. I am talking, technically I'm talking to you lot. You're listening, right? <laughs> Someone, someone's yeah, but they can listening. Only, they can only hear half the conversation, uh, <laughs> it's a problem. I know, you f it's not that I forget. Well, I do, I forget. You're just seem gross, don't you? Yeah. You're just having a lovely time, Michelle. <laughs> I am. I am, so there you go. So that's my beautiful... Um, rose, so that's my precious, it's not a rose, sorry, it's my precious poppies. Um, so that's all decoupaged up, so we're going to put that to the side now. And again, so you can use that as a, a lovely element just on the side of your card instead of some of our other um, flower dyes that we've got. Uh, just makes a nice change. So what I'm going to do is I've brought these in and these are from um, Garden Party, okay. I can't think. So this is... The um, textured card stock, and this is the lovely pearlescent one. We're so at that point of year where I'm sort of dreaming of summer and garden parties, you know. <laughs> yes. Not long now. Uh, we get Apparently we get about an extra three minutes of light every night, you know, at the moment. Really? Uh, that means every month we get an hour extra. Oh. So that's always good. So we're, we're moving back towards lighter evenings, which is good. Oh, that's good. Definitely. Also, it gets darker so much earlier up here than it does at home. It really, really yeah, I've noticed that. It's bonkers, isn't it? It like really is. Like a good is. sort of 20 minutes earlier. Earlier, it's dark up here in yeah. the northeast. When will the clocks change again, George? It will be in March, I believe, yeah. Uh, you lose an hour this time around, don't you? But you get an extra hour of daylight, so it's all good. Yeah, because don't you spring forward and fall back? Yes. That's how I, I remember it. Fall, fall back, yes. Indeedy. The amount of times as a kid that, because um, obviously having to manually change the clocks when you were younger, yes. the amount of times they went the wrong way, we ended up two hours late for something or two hours early. It <laughs> was usually when they had gone, it was usually when they went uh, back, my mum would put them forward uh, or vice versa. Yeah. It, was just, it was just a constant nightmare twice a year, I remember. <laughs> and now they do it, your phone does it yourself, but do you ever really trust it? No. So when you wake up, do you really know what time it is? It's that, it's that odd one. You're not sure it? if it's done it for you or not. Yeah. yeah. I'm the same. I'm the same. So there we go. So that's my little tag that I've got for now. I don't have my hole punch with me. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, where's my little? Oh, Tracy little. Hope says they should put the booth, uh, the gallery on a speaker so we can hear both sides of the conversation. I know. Tracy, <laughs> I wouldn't wish it on you, honestly. <laughs> Count yourself up and be careful what you wish for. So I'm just, I'm just measuring on here, sort of just halfway. So I know roughly where I want to 
have my little hole. So let me get my pencil. I don't, I don't want to do it by eye because I don't want my tag to be wonky. I'm just going to put a little pencil mark there and then I'm just going to use that to pop through. And then I don't end up stabbing myself in the finger. Oh, we don't want you doing that. No, I do that way too often. Way too often. So I'm going to bring in a little bit of my ribbon. So there we go. So let's just cut a little piece of this off and thread it through. And then I've got some card here and we're going to make a little gift bag for my little tag. Beautiful. I do love a tag, Michelle. Oh, yeah. Do love a tag. So there we go. So let's just move that to the side for now. I'm relatively tidy over here. Well, you said I'm ready to retire. I was like, well, this is a bolt from the blue. <laughs> Maybe well, not. Like, Gosh, it's only 20 past three. We've still got the whole show to go again later. <laughs> yeah. So I've got some beautiful glitter cards and I've got this um, paper. And I think that's from the garden party as well. The 12 by 12 pad. So we're just going to, I'm going to mat and layer these up. And then I'll bring in the, the bag base and give you some measurements. These are going to go on the front. And I love... Lovely papers, aren't they? Yes. And I like having the glitter card as my mat behind. I just love glitter card. You can't, never can have too much glitter. Um, 75, 99, 108, 95 gets you the whole collection of these, remember, four different styles and sets. They are on their own individually as well. If you want to get the uh, stamps, dies, and the pad in the individual flowers, they're all available over on the website. And as I said, if you want to check up, if you want to uh, stock up on just the pads, uh, they are also available. So I know these were extremely popular when we launched them, uh, so a lot of you uh, will have no doubt been using up those pads. So they are available for you, uh, and they're all in stock. Everything's there individually. This is an interesting box. It's going to be a bag. So a I'm bag. making a bag. That's yeah. why it's an interesting it's, looking that's box. That's why it's an <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so I've cut it to 10 inches wide and I've left it at 12 inches high. And I've scored at one inch, because that's what you can't see, can you? Look, I'll move you over. I've scored at one inch here. So that's, that's going to be my tab. And then I've scored at three inch. And then this is six inches wide and my base is going to be three inches. So you'll need two of these. So I'm just going to cut my tabs away. And this is another thing that I make a lot of and have just ready to glue together. Um, I like to give a gift with my own uh, gift bag or box. I know we tend to make bo boxes a lot, but um, I like a good gift bag. So again, I've done exactly the same. So I've got two of those. Just try and tidy Have up Have you a made bit. any New Year's resolutions, Michelle? Um, my only New Year's resolution really was just to carry on with the um, healthy eating. I may have indulged a little bit over Christmas. Did you? Um, and I know I've said before, I got diagnosed last year with diabetes. Mm. And I put myself into remission with the weight loss and um, a bit of, exercise, bit of exercise, a lot of exercise. Right. Um, so then over Christmas, you tend to eat a little bit. We all do, don't we? What we shouldn't. And when your husband cooks sticky toffee pudding like mine does, it's very easy. So I'm, I'm, I'm back on it. I'm uh, determined to get the rest of my weight off, but more for my health rather than... Um, you know, just wanting to look nice in a pair of shorts at summer. Oh, I only ever do it for looking nice in a pair of shorts. <laughs> no other reason. I don't care. I'm too short for shorts. Does that sound daft? You need short shorts. <laughs> so, finish cutting my tab. I can't remember the last time I wear a pa wore a pair of shorts. Really? Yeah. I could be wearing a pair of shorts now for you, know. <laughs> You'd never know behind this counter. <laughs> Right, so, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so I would love that. I would love you to walk out in a nice pair of sparkly, spangly shorts. If I was like shorts. Rocky Horror Show from the waist down, you'd never know, would you? <laughs> you I could would be, not I could be know. part TV presenter, part, Frank, part Frankenfurtable, you know? 
I love that. <laughs> Although, I do have a very fetching pair of rainbow crochet shorts that I wore, made myself, Michelle. Do you? Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, oh, they were, uh, George is asking about my, the rubber duck swimming shorts. No, they're Ben's, he's got them back. I just borrowed them to go on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not, not Michelle's Ben's, uh, presenter Ben's, obviously. <laughs> so I came to work and I was going on holiday straight from work and I'd forgotten my shorts, so he borrowed me his rubber duck shorts, yeah, which was very handy. <laughs> I did wear them, yes. It's a lovely little swim. I don't know what, what astounds, shocks, no. I don't know what, what I'm more taken aback by. By what? The fact that he's got rubber duck shorts of the fact that you yeah, borrowed not, They weren't like speedos or anything. They're just, you know, like regular, you know, swimming shorts, like baggy I, swimming I shorts. I remember seeing them. Uh, I went in the pool for all about five minutes in and yeah, I'm not really one for water, I must say, Michelle. No. I'm not really one for water. I'm definitely one who sits on the side and... Drinks uh, cocktails. <laughs> yes. yes. That was where I spent my time. Uh, hello, Michelle, says Monica. So glad for your demos. Isn't that Aww, nice? Oh, thank you. Ben is the one who's in the water, if we go anywhere like that. Um, but Ben um, is a swimmer, or was a swimmer, when he was younger. So that is definitely his forte, not mine. I'd never go swimming in the sea, ever. See, Ben loves it. No, never go swimming in the sea. When you, put, when you see Ben in water, he's like a fish. It's like literally his home. Georgina says she gets scared of <laughs> swallowing salt water. Georgina talks so much, she can't even keep her mouth closed when she goes in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> that, must be the, that, must be the, uh, <laughs> that must be the only conclusion I can come to. <laughs> that was funny. So, I've put my two <laughs> panels together. So, I got a bit carried away then. <laughs> I've put my two panels together and I've got a score line just down to about there and just down to about there, which is why I've just opened my bag back up because I forgot I just need to give them a bit of a, a score. Nice. Before I, so you can see that it only roughly goes down to about there. And the same with this one. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good, though. <laughs> so then flatten it back up and fold it back over. <laughs> there we go. And as you can see, then it allows you to squeeze your bag. <laughs> oh, dear. If only you could see and hear what I can see. Yeah, George said he's imagining uh, Georgina like talking to herself whilst... It's plausible though, isn't it? It is plausible. <laughs> ah, anyway, it's a beautiful looking bag that you've made there. <laughs> Thank you very sure. much. So I'm just gluing that bit to the bottom. And again, because I forgot my hole punch, what I'm going to do is... Um, so on this bottom bit here, I'm just going to put that on there. In fact, we're going to measure the middle again. So what have we got? Six. So just with my pencil, I'm just going to mark a little, a little dot. And then I'm going to put it on the, the spongy thing. This is for my, um, this, my brush, um, dye brush. So it just enables me to pop it through without stabbing my finger. So there we go. So I've got my little hole. And I'm just going to push my poker tool all the way through. And did then you get just a new watch for Christmas? I did. Oh, I like it. It's very sparkly. Very sparkly. I love sparkly stuff. <laughs> As, you know, who doesn't? So bringing some more of my ribbon in, I'm going to put that through there. I actually, I got spoiled this year. Ben spoiled did me he? Um, a lot this year. And I'm not complaining at all. I wasn't expecting. Because when you have kids, it tends to be all about the kids. They take over, don't they? They really That's do. why I haven't got children. I can't imagine, to my knowledge, I can't <laughs> imagine spending my money on anyone else, to be honest. <laughs> imagine I earn it and I've spent it on someone else. That oh, just no. doesn't compute for me, Michelle. No, ben, um, well, I know I talk about him a lot, but he's, he's adorable. 
and he did I didn't expect um, anything and he came out on Christmas morning with lots of little gifts for me oh, so nice. it was lovely and the kids got spoiled rotten of course of course, of course. <laughs> so this ribbon is going to go through here to hang my tag on so let me just turn that cut that down and then put a little knot in there for some reason, my fingers aren't working today. It's because they've been on holiday for two they weeks. They have been on holiday for two weeks. So I couldn't talk on Monday. I'd not done something. <laughs> I'd hardly talked over the two weeks I was off. I know. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So that is my gift bag. My squeeze about <laughs> With beautiful. that beautiful poppy topper. Uh, really, really gorgeous. <laughs> right, let's go back through then the four designs that you've got uh, in this big collection. So remember, they are available in their individual collections. Best way to get the best value is to go for that deal. That is there on the screen. You've got the precious poppies, which are these ones just here. Of course, you have the pad, and then what you're going to do is overlay the dies on there. Cut those out and decoupage them up. You get this kind of effect here. You can see you've got all that lovely dimension there. Or you can stamp it and use the dies to layer them up and use your own colouring mediums that way. Great if you do want to colour change these, then of course the option is there to do it. So you've got the poppies, uh, you've also got the roses in bloom. This one here is the beautiful lilies. And then you've also got your spring is here as well. So they are the four that you are getting included. Right. We are going to move on and show with you some hunky dory. Oh, I've dropped my stamps. Pop those back on there. Um, now, again, decoupage perfect with all your hunky dory items. This one is Meadow Farm. Now, in Meadow Farm, you're going to get the little book. Uh, these are just so fabulous. Uh, loads of different designs in here, hundreds of pages for you. Again, if you want to fussy cut and decoupage these, absolutely, you could have loads of fun doing that. And the brilliant thing is because you're getting multiples of each um, sheet in there, you've therefore got the option to do that as well. So that's your uh, little book of Meadow, Meadow Farm. Let me share with you the deco large uh, toppers first that you are getting in here. So let me hold this up and go through these for you. Um, absolutely brilliant. Decolage, of course, is all is decoupage, but then with, of course, um, the added size. So you can see this here. Let's put them around this way for you. So you've got loads of different designs, and then all the corresponding papers, uh, cardstock that goes with it. So that could be your card blanks if you want to use them for card blanks. You can chop into them. You can fussy cut them. Uh, you've got loads and loads of different designs within here uh, for you to play with, and there are so many sheets in these collections as well. It's absolutely uh, loads within there. Brilliant if you want to make quick cards, maybe you're fairly new to crafting, you don't own a die cutting machine, these are going to be perfect for you as well. And you can see you've got all of those uh, different designs uh, within there, which is gorgeous. And then obviously uh, all of the smaller elements, which you're then going to start to really build up uh, those layers there as well. As always, you do get an inspiration sheet with uh, the collection as well. So. Again, if you are new, brilliant to give you some idea. If, if composition uh, is what you struggle with, then this is going to be a great way to uh, get some ideas on that. And then you've got all of your inserts within here. Again, uh, that same artwork being carried all the way through into the inserts, just in a more muted uh, colour tone there with the inserts. You get all of that. Uh, it's a half price deal for you. That's amazing. Under £25, uh, just under $37 uh, if you want to um, take advantage of that fabulous deal there. Uh, I also want to, I'm going to give you an opportunity to check out. It's very busy, very early on in this show today. Whilst you do that, let's share with you one of our quick buys. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafters kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick buy, get yours now. Uh, lots of you loving uh, this particular set. Evelyn says, I love the look of the poppies and the roses. Mine are on the way. Uh, I will be making this beautiful bag as well, says uh, Debbie. Great idea. Mary loving the colours as well there on the bag too. That's just, you know, the tip of the iceberg uh, when it comes to what you can do uh, with these. Right then, Michelle, uh, what would you like to share with us next? 
Oh, so I think we'll go totally the opposite colour. So we've got yellows, these beautiful roses in bloom. And we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to make the, the little gift box with card. Uh, so again, uh, we've got this beautiful decoupage um, topper pad, which we're going to move to the side for now because I've already pulled some out. So again, exactly the same system as we did the first time. You've got all these beautiful, oh, look at this, it's already taped up for me. How thoughtful was someone? <laughs> so again, you've got the tab, the number, lay it over exactly where it needs to go. And it is as simple and as easy as that. So let's tape that down. And again, let's put this one on, tape it down. And you see, I find this quite um, relaxing as well doing just simple things like this, just cutting them all out, uh, making your little flowers up, and then either putting them in your little box for later, because um, you're not quite sure which uh, project you want to use it on yet. But I do that with a lot of our flowers as well. Sometimes I'll just sit and have um, a few hours where I'm just making up lots of little flowers. So when I'm doing my next projects, they're all there, ready to go. So let's run this through and I'm going to, we're going to cut a couple of these out because um, we're going to um, lay some up on the card and then some on the box. So I need more than one set. Uh, you've got that interview in the show, uh, get a link into the Crafters TV over on Facebook, uh, Crafters Companion, uh, if you are across on YouTube and I'll pop those questions across to Michelle for you. And also, yeah, don't forget sending pictures of your decoupage projects. We've got a few already, we'll share them with you soon, but definitely send yours in. We'd love to see uh, what you've been up to. Your forays into decoupage, wouldn't we, Michelle? Oh, definitely. I love looking um, at everyone else's projects, seeing what they've come up with and, and done. It's, uh, it's great. I'd love to see everyone's um, different take on the same thing. So again, I'm just going to layer them up exactly the same way as I did before. My little tab going over the number. Really does make it just so... I think when something is nice and easy and simple to do like this, it just adds to the pleasure of doing it. You know, we've all got one of those projects where we, we put off sometimes because we think, oh, I just... It's a bit too in-depth or not necessarily difficult, going to take a long time. This is nice, simple, nice, simple crafting. Just this, I know it sounds daft when you say there's no thought going into it. There is, obviously, but, um, yeah, but it's something just not nice. Taxing. Yes, not taxing, that's it. You always say it's so much nicer than I do. Sure, I mean, <laughs> I mean it's the only job I've got to do, really, isn't it? So <laughs> let's hope I can keep doing that. You can talk so, today. Yeah, I can today. I mean, I haven't been able to... Come you know, most of the week up until now. Um, Mary Kay saying, uh, I organised my craft room somewhat over the holidays. I now have a lowest tote filled with just hunky-dory. Didn't know the tote could hold that much. It's stuffed. <laughs> what a great place to keep it all. And it, they are huge, those totes. Mm. They're definitely um, deceptive. You look at them and you just keep putting things in and things in. Like a Mary Poppins bag, aren't they? Absolutely, it? yeah. So I've got all my, I've got two lots of decoupage cut out now. So I'm just going to layer one up for now because this is going to go on my card. So again, um, I'm going to bring in my bone folder and I'm going to be a bit more gentle this time. And I'm just going to curve those edges. Gives it that nice, gives it a nice um, edge to it. Uh, the other thing as well, roses come in a multitude of colours, don't they? So they these do. ones, of course, in the decoupage pad are yellow, but yeah. you've got stamps as well, and I, so you can yes. stamp these out, colour them however you want, with any of different colouring mediums, uh, and make a whole assortment of different colours. Oh, definitely. I think you do forget, you just tend to think traditionally red and pink, but yeah, I know my nan had um, a huge rose garden, and she literally had roses in every colour. In fact, oh, wow. I, uh, Ben bought me a rose plant, and it's... Um, it's like a pink and white striped oh, nice. is the... Yeah, there's loads of different yeah. varieties, isn't there? Yeah, it was so beautiful. So, bringing in... Again, we're going to do exactly what we did before. I've got my 
foam pads. I'm going to put my largest one down and then we're going to layer up. There are over 30,000 varieties of roses. Wow. There you are. Turkish delight. That's what mine is called. Turkish which, delight. Yeah, and when you smell it, you sh the smell is just amazing. Nice. Yeah. But you get people who specialise in like crossing them and making new varieties, like don't you? Breeders. Yes. Hmm. I went to uh, Turkey to Istanbul a few years back, and I came back, and I was eighty percent, I think. Turkish Delight and Baklava by the end of it. <laughs> Honestly, I yeah. had so much of this stuff. It's so good. So, so good. So, my leaf is tiny. So, again, I'm just going to cut one of my bigger um, foam pads down. But, again, if you've got the small ones, just use those. But I prefer the bigger ones because then I, I've got the big ones for my bigger projects and then I can just cut them down as and when I want them. So that is just, so that's the one for now. And I'm gonna bring in a piece of card and it is, so it's six by 11 and just short of 12. And I know why it's just short of 12. It should be a six by six card. But when I made my box, my box wasn't quite big enough. So I just cut the edges of my card oh. off. <laughs> it wouldn't fit in and I thought I just trimmed the edges. Just trim a bit off. Why not? Nearly Why a not? six by six card. So, <laughs> so I'm just looking for my bits. Here it is. So this is the beautiful collection, obviously. I mean, it just goes perfectly with this rose. So we're just going to mat and layer this up. Uh, Anne says, I used a Caring Thoughts decoupage last year for Mum's Mother's Day card, got a bit carried away and the card ended up being a 10 by 10 inch square card. <laughs> uh, but it didn't need to be mailed, so why on earth not? Absolutely. Why on earth not? When we went for a phase, uh, I was going to say it was probably in the 90s, Michelle, where bigger cards were the thing. Yeah. And the more you love someone, the bigger the card. But yeah. I'm talking like, I'm talking like these, this big, yeah. and they I were like padded, those. weren't they? They came in their own boxes. <laughs> yes. They were ridiculous. They really were. ridiculous. Yeah, and especially around Valentine's Day, you could get the really Massive, big padded yeah. ones, couldn't you? And you knew if you got like a little five by seven card that you was, yeah, you wasn't the main squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you know, when you're teenagers and you're younger, right. and you know what I mean. Anyway, shut up, Michelle. You don't, know you've all missed that. <laughs> yeah, he is. Because it was hilarious. <laughs> So this is my, so I've got our, this is just the, our circle, a stitched edge circle dies that I've used for these. And I've just cut out um, a couple of those just to the size that I liked um, on this card. I didn't pati particularly pick a specific size. Oh, I couldn't say that again. A bit of a tongue twister that. And I'm just gonna place this in the middle. And then, so this is all from the Be Useful collection. A really gorgeous collection. That's so busy when we launch it. Colours work so well with the yellows in the roses they as really well. They really do. Uh, what size are the foam pads that you're using and cutting down, asked Mary Lee. So these are these ones. So it's the 24 by 12 by 3. So they're 3 millimetres deep and they're a 24 by 12. Okay, doke. So, um, um, Lily says, I just love yellow flowers. There is something about them that draws me in. I may have yeah. to at least purchase this set. All the individual sets are available uh, over on the website. Do go check them out over there. Um, Crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Uh, yes, I, uh, white and pink are my favourite flowers. Always lilies, uh, the white ones or the stargazer ones, which oh. are like um, sort of pinky yes. on the inside. Just love them. They are beautiful. Good choice. I like peonies. Peonies, beautiful, yeah. yeah. I like that they're big and fat and round. <laughs> I just... <laughs> the flower, the peony. Yes, <laughs> it's very, just, um, I love very full, aren't they? <laughs> yes. Full and bulbous. That's it, I didn't want to use that word. Did you not? I didn't want to say it, no. Okay. <laughs> just in case you got it wrong, or... Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, no, full and bulbous, yes. <laughs> Or big and fat and round, as Michelle said. 
<laughs> what can I say? So I do love a bulbous <laughs> peony. <laughs> so I've just got three pieces of ribbon there. Um, I haven't specifically measured them. They're just, they go down in size. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh dear. Oh, I have missed working with have you. Have you? I have, yeah. You always get me in trouble. <laughs> you do. I swear I'm always on my best behaviour when I'm here with everyone else. <laughs> it's a fake Friday thing, I think. That's what it is, you know? Definitely. Not for a few days after today. Um, <laughs> back you again on Sunday. Ben's here uh, for a couple of days. Um, how are we getting on? Don't forget to send those pictures in as well. Yes. Of your best partial projects. We want to see them. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk is where you need to send them. Are oh, you making a little bow there? I am. Oh, I love so, that. I, I, I mean, if you was watching, all I did was I made them into a circle, obviously, because one was smaller than the other. It sits on the top beautifully. And then this is just going to go over the top there. If I was at home, I would use hot glue to secure this, but the tape pen does a wonderful job. So just trim that bit down. And I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this is called a Chanel bow. Chanel bow? Yeah. Uh, I can't hear Chanel now without thinking about that poor woman that lost her parrot. That's what I think about every time. <laughs> what poor woman? The poor woman lost her parrot on, uh, on um, Instagram. Do you not remember? Chanel! I, yes! <laughs> I do In remember the US, that. The reference probably doesn't uh, <laughs> land. Um, but yeah, poor lady lost her parrot. She couldn't find her. She was an African grey. She flew off towards Canal. Um, it's like a sort of viral video here, where it was obviously what we're talking about is Chanel as in Coco Chanel. I think that shows my level of class, really, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Um, Renee says, Joe Stargazer lilies are, are my favourite too. They smell so wonderful. They are, they are a beautiful flower. Do smell flower. divine when you come home. Um, yeah, to fill the whole house uh, with that gorgeous, gorgeous smell. So, I am going to pick the second largest from this, which is this one, because... I want to have that border of um, the aperture around it. So I've cut that one out with the bigger one. So for it to go around, I'm going to cut that out with the, obviously the one that's the next size down. So I'm just going to stick that in the middle. I'm going to tape it well down because I don't want it to move. I want it to stay exactly where it is. So this is my box lid that we've moved on to. So we've finished the little card that's, because um, it's got the depth on it, we're going to make that box. Um, and I thought, if we're going to put it in a box, a beautiful card like that, you still want to be able to see it, So, which is why I've decided to make the, the see-through aperture uh, and in the And why not lid. make a box as well? Go for it. Absolutely. So let's just peel this off. And then... So we've got that for on there, but before I just bob that on, I'm just going to go back over these and give them a good burnish. So I and tried which, to which, have... Which card was this from the, again, from the Beautiful list? Um, so this one is... So this is the Paisley Pearl. Nice. So the 12 by 12 pad yeah, that we've really got. Yeah, we love that pad. It's uh, so yeah. popular when we launched it. The thing is that the colours in... All those pads, because there was... like a 300 GSM? It's yes. like a really good heavyweight one, isn't it? Exactly, which is why I'm using it for the box, because it's a perfect box weight. Paisley Pearl is in stock on the website, so if you wanted to grab it, it's available over there. Yeah, I had a, I had a good rummage around my craft room right. and tried to use as much as I could from it. So I've tried to use... Lots of the Did different you try elements. Have a bit of a clear out. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no. I think sometimes you buy new stuff and the stuff that you've already got gets mm. put behind it. So I had a really good rummage through for stuff that would match and mix perfectly. Uh, don't forget as well, another show coming. Bit of a um, bit of a funny day today, isn't it, Michelle? We've got a 
craft along for you in the evening slot yes. uh, today. Uh, so we're going to be doing that craft along uh, a little later, which will be fantastic. So 7 p.m. in the UK on a Thursday, I know, is normally um, cartload. Uh, however, today it is going to be craft along and it is um, the sentiment die cut panels that we're going to be looking at. So make sure you join myself and Michelle for that. Everything you need to craft along is over on our social media as well. So go find that at 7 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. East Coast, uh, because um, cartload is actually coming up tomorrow evening here. So it'll be a three hour special cartload, a Sarah cartload uh, with Sarah and Ben. So make sure you join the guys for that tomorrow. Make sure you make that, mark that in your diary. Yes, um, I thought I'd got the times wrong with the craft along being tonight. I thought I'd got myself mixed up, but I hadn't. It has, I don't think oh, I've ever done one I on a up, night. Yesterday I turned up three hours early for work, Michelle. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, goodness <laughs> me. I wasn't meant to be here till two. I turned up at 11. <laughs> 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 so I've just put my piece of acetate behind and then I'm going to put my box lid together. So again, I've just used my... So this is a 6x6, six six, um, it's a 6.1 by 6.1 box that I've made because my card is a 6x6. Six six. Um, so I always like to add that, add that um, like quarter or an eighth of an inch because then it sits in there nice and snugly unless you measure it wrong and then have to trim a little bit off your card. But in the end, it all fits. So <laughs> I've got the rest of these here. So we're going to decorate um, the front of this. We can't, let me just bring this in. We'll do the bottom as well. You can't have a box without a bottom. Oh, you really can't. I'm not really, no. Well, it'd just be a lid then, wouldn't it? It'd just be a cover. <laughs> it would. Uh, Mary Lee is loving this demo. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. It's so strange crafting after... I mean, I've, obviously, I've been play crafting at home. What's play crafting? Um, oh, I don't know. Just having a bit of fun, just experimenting Right, with... not making any actual, like, full projects? No, right. no. Just having a, a bit of fun. So there... Oh, is my, yeah, sort of, yeah, just throwing things together, which is why I said I was literally going through my craft room, having a good rummage, finding stuff out that I'd forgot I had, and having a, just a good old play, I think. So what I'm going to do to decorate this box is, I'm not going to layer these up fully, like I did with the main card. So I'm going to layer two pieces up there, and then because um, I've got lots of pieces, pieces cut out. I've cut that one out twice and then I'm just going to put the little piece on top of this one. So again, um, you don't have to use the full decoupage sheet. You can just use a couple of elements from it. I've lost my foam pads already. Uh, Mary Rhino says, I'm totally loving all the demos today. It's really helping take my mind off everything. Michelle and Joe, can we just make it a 24-hour marathon, please? Gosh, imagine the gibberish we'd be chatting after 24 <laughs> hours. Can you imagine? <laughs> if we struggle this much after 50 minutes. Yeah, imagine what we'd, uh, that would be. Uh, I once did a, um, on another channel I worked at, for the last day before Christmas delivery, who decided just went live all the way through the night. Oh, really? So we were on air at like half past five in the morning, oh. yeah, or something um, silly like that, yeah. And honestly, and lots of us had been working all day as well, so we went like all day and all night. Oh, wow. And uh, yeah, it was very, very uh, taxing on the, on the brain, <laughs> let's put it that imagine. way. Imagine. Having to concentrate for that length of time, I don't think I could do it. So, there we go. So, I've just de decoupaged that one up with three layers. That one's just got two. And then what I'm going to do is... So, again, with the, um, a, paper, a piece of the paper from the Beautiful, I've just cut a square out, and that is just two by two and a half. So I cut two by two and a half um, inch square and I just cut it on the, the corners because we're just going to layer those up there. I just thought it added a nice, a different element. So. Love the yellow with the yellow as well. Not, not a colour we usually see that much of, is it? No, it's definitely not. And I love this colour. I think it's um, 
definitely underused and underrated. So there we go. And then I've just got, I've got a few gems. Um, and then this is just about putting it where you want it to go. So I'm going to put that one there. And we're going to have that one there. And I'm going to put them on foam pads because it's me. <laughs> there you go. So that, and I look, make sure that you curve those lovely because the way that your leaves hang over the edge just looks fabulous. Oh, I've already foam. Oh, look at me. I'm too organised. So I'm bobbing that one on there. And I'm just going to add just a couple of gems just on there. Wouldn't be a Michelle make without a few gems, was it? It wouldn't, no. <laughs> Definitely not. And then on this side, I, um, I love ha adding a bit. It's got to have a bit of bling somewhere. Um, Elizabeth asked if these were on HSN before. Are they new? I think they have been on HSN. They've launched at HSN. They launched here as well. I don't know if all four of them launched at HSN, though. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I know we did launch them. Uh, I think we launched these about back in November time, off the top of my head, I want to say. Really beautiful. What yeah. a gorgeous box. So there you go. So that's your box and your card. Perfect. And you can make several cards if you wanted to, if you're you know, making them to sell as well. Imagine just popping them in the box. Yes, Someone's definitely. Someone's got the cards to give and the box to keep to do something else with. Yeah. Um, also, I can imagine them in the very similar sort of way around the edges of something like um, um, box frames or around... Um, yes. Picture frames, that was the word I was yeah, looking for. Yeah. Uh, right, we're going to move on. I'm going to recap what you're getting in this particular collection again for you. So the four different flowers that are there. That one does not want to stay on there, does it? Let's pop that over there. <laughs> uh, you've got your poppies in here. Uh, and then you've also got, of course, the rose. Have you just seen? Remember what you're getting? 48 sheets of the pad. Overlay the day the dies onto the pad creates this. Or stamp the image out and then overlay the dies over that. And then you can use, of course, your own colouring medium uh, to change the colour, colour it up however you see fit. Uh, you will also get in here the gorgeous lilies, the beautiful lilies. And then you've got spring is here included in there as well. Uh, right, I want to share a few other bits with you. We've got a great collection of tools uh, which will help you with your uh, decoupage. Let me just get myself sorted out. There we go. Let's bring these in for you. So uh, you've got the ball tools and the uh, foam, which is really handy uh, for getting that shaping uh, on there that you might need. Uh, the other thing we've got here are the tweezers. Great if you love to use something like your chunky glue. They are fantastic for that. You've then got your pokey tools here and you've got a swivel blade um, craft knife with the replacement blades as well. Uh, over 20% off there, $17.59 or $24.79 uh, if you want to go for those. Um, right, we're off to Fairyland next. Uh, let's share this with you. So it's a, another fantastic collection. Love this one because I love that it's all kind of whimsical but they've got like sort of human faces. You'll see what I mean in a second. Uh, of course, you get the inspiration sheet included as you always do. And it's all on foil. So it's printed foil. Sometimes it's a little bit, it's a little bit hard sometimes to see how gorgeous these designs are. They show up a little bit dark on camera, uh, but they really are very vivid and clear when you see them. All of the beautiful little fairy scenes uh, within here. Um, and again, really nice sort of darks, uh, purples and blues all the way through this particular collection. So there are your decolage bases and then you've got all of the elements that you need to decorate those decolage uh, toppers. So you can create something with real uh, dimension. And then you've got all of those and then you've got all of your cardstock in here as well. So you can see all of your different printed um, foiled cardstocks which are going to match beautifully uh, with the different collection, uh, the different toppers that you've got in there. So that's that. You're also going to receive as well uh, the the magic, the, I always struggle with this, the A6 Miri Magic Pad is what you've got in here. And again, same kind of designs. It's a really good um, heavy cardstock uh, that you've got in this particular one as well, which is fantastic. Really nice and shiny, all printed foils. I love their faces as well. They've got these sort of human faces, but they're actually little pixies and fairies, which I think is just adorable. So that's coming in there. Uh, you will also then get as well 
the inserts. You will actually get 36. I've only got a handful of them here, but you'll get 36 matching inserts, uh, which uh, matches all of that imagery, which is all the way through uh, that collection. If you want to go for all of that, it's actually well under half price, that, which is a fantastic uh, deal. Let's take a moment, give you an opportunity to check out your baskets. It's really busy over on the website at the moment. Here's some of the fun stuff we get up to here at Crafters TV. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing, I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. Quick buy. All your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Well, another fabulous quick buy for you there as well. Uh, Aisha says, hi everyone, watching but forgot to comment. I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm having a good day. Michelle, you having a good day? I'm having a wonderful day, thank you. Yeah, Michelle texted me this morning, put lots of kisses on the end, didn't you, Michelle? <laughs> I just asked her if she would mind getting, bringing the bin, uh, bin in uh, uh, before she left today. She said, yes, sure, honey. Kiss, 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 kiss. And I was like, all right, what's going on here? And then she texted me back a few minutes later. Sorry, I was texting Ben at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get so confused so easily. <laughs> I put lots funny. of kisses to Ben. Yeah. And then because I was texting you as well, I just you go on to autopilot and yeah. then I'm like, oh no, sorry. <laughs> but no, that's just how much I've missed you, Joe. Oh, thank you. I mean, it's, it's a bit late now, but anyway. Uh, Renee <laughs> says, uh, really beautiful uh, make there, Michelle, as well. Right, I know uh, we're sort of trying to cram as many demonstrations into this masterclass as possible, aren't we, Michelle? So what would you like to share with us next? Yes, we are, definitely. So um, I've gone back to the precious... Um, are the precious, yeah, precious poppies. So we've gone back to the precious poppies again. So this is the, the beautiful um, topper pad that you get, but we're not going to use that. This is the stamp that comes with it. So when we take this out, we've got that beautiful stamp there, put it the right way up, um, of those poppies. So we're going to use this. Uh, I thought I've already done a project with the pad. Um, show you um, something that you can use the stamp for. You know, get this as a collection. You don't necessarily have to use the whole um, topper pad and the dies. Um, and then sometimes we think, well, what do we do with the stamp? So this is um, an idea of what we can do with the stamp. So I've got um, a set of nesting dies at home that go up to an eight by eight. And this is um, just an oval one that I've taken out. And it's roughly, um, four and a half by six in size. So we're just gonna use this beautiful stamp, stamp it out and color it up. Because obviously our stamps are perfect for coloring in. So let me just get my ink pad. So alcohol proof. So I've got my alcohol proof one because I'm gonna use my tri-blends. 
to colour this in. As well, you find that over on the website. Real essential tool, that isn't it, Michelle? Everyone swear by that. Oh, swears absolutely. By that, so say. Yeah, I I do. Um, I know I wax lyrical about this all the time, but I mean it. I can see it now. I'm going to go back in just to deepen my lines up. <laughs> and um, I know that if I go in for the second time, that I'm going to get it perfect. And what you probably just saw me do then was wobble the top. Wobble the, the top? Yes, I wobbled my top. Right. I have a wobbly top. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I just got the, the most shocked look from John as he walked in as I'm saying, wobble it up. What can I say? <laughs> so the reason that I wobble my top is the stamping platform, the legs are on springs, obviously. So when you put them down, it wobbles a little bit. Right. But if you just, I put it down. For one, I give it a bit of a wobble to make sure that all my legs are sat into the little holes that they're supposed to go into. And then once it's settled where it's going to settle and I push down I'm going to get it perfect every time sometimes we will um, put it down and maybe push to the side or to the, and that's where you get your shadow in so just let your top settle and then you get that perfect stamping perfect. every time we don't want no wobbly bits we really don't I mean they are unavoidable <laughs> after Christmas really aren't they <laughs> I must admit I didn't do too bad I didn't do too bad. Yeah, I don't think I did. I didn't go too bonkers uh, over Christmas, which was good. Um, it was quite a quiet affair, so I think it's easy not to eat too much. And plus, we weren't going like out really over Christmas no, too much. Well, we no. weren't really mixing too much, sort of going out for big meals and stuff. So it was quite easy. Yeah, definitely. So I'm bringing my tri blends in, and the colours I've picked. So I've picked a dark red blend, the orange blend, and the alpine green blend, and I've. Um, just going to so if you haven't seen our tri blends before uh, brilliant system where we've got three shades of the one color in the one pen so that enables us to do that three blend shade three blend three shade three pen blend with those three <laughs> different um, shades of the same Fabulous. color it takes the, the guesswork out of it for you it makes doing that professional looking blend really easy so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to colour these. Um, if you're not sure on your shading, if you're not really up to it, just bring your pad in and just refer back to it. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to get my colouring like that, but still referring back to it, you can see where they've got highlights on there, where there's the dark bits. So refer back to your, your, your imagery if it, um, if it helps you do it. So I'm just going to lay my lightest down and I'm going to preserve a little highlight in the middle there where I think it's going to be the lightest. And then I'm going to come in with my darkest and I think it's going to be dark underneath there. So I'm going to add that underneath and maybe a bit there. So there's not necessarily any right or wrong. When you're doing this, have a play just see what you think looks um, okay so I'm just I brought in my mid and I'm just going to go over the edge of the dark onto the light with the mid and then I'm going to go back in with my lightest and then we're just going to blend those edges over and then we're going to color that bit in so straight away you can see how I've got a bit of a where I feel the light is hitting it. Now, I am no artist at all, but once these have dried, they make you look like one. <laughs> so if they can make me look like an artist, they can do it for you too. And is this, uh, what cardstock is this on to, Michelle? Sorry? What cardstock are we on to here? So I am using just our 300 GSM white cardstock. Back stock. Um, just because that's what I picked up. Yeah, <laughs> I do normally use the Nina, yeah. but this you can colour onto this just as beautifully. It's still quite a nice smooth cardstock. So again, just laying my colour down, preserving a little highlight there. And then I'm going to bring in my dark again and just go over those bits that I feel 
would be dark. Which is awesome. Uh, don't forget as well, our destination uh, colouring show, Colour Me Happy, has moved. It was always, of course, 7 p.m., 2 p.m., uh, 7 p.m. UK time, 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern time on a Friday. It's now moved to uh, Colour Me Happy. Here they go. Uh, so switching places with soft side. As of this week, it will be at midday, 7 a.m. on a Sunday is where you will now find uh, that show uh, and soft side life in its new home, 3 p.m. UK time. 10 a.m. Eastern time, which is fabulous. So uh, that's effective hours of this week. Oh, it's all change, isn't it? It's all change, isn't it? So moved on to my second poppy now. And I'm just going to go through the same system as I did with the other um, poppy. Just going to lay down my base of colour and preserve sort of a highlight-ish. I'm trying not to make the edges of the lines the straight because they're not obviously going to be straight. So when you're wanting to not do a straight line, it's the time that you're going to find that you can do the most perfect straight line <laughs> you've ever done. Uh, it is mesmerising watching colour like this. Uh, and these are, of course, so easy to use, these tribunds. Absolutely, everyone, anyone can uh, have a go at them. You'll find all of our colouring mediums over on the website. Uh, hit the Spectrum Noir tab on the website, which will take you to all of our different inky colouring goodies that are all over there for you. And there's loads of sort of uh, two-hour tutorials on exactly how you can use those as well. Really lovely to see the stamps used um, in this set. Uh, and the stamps used on their own. I think you've got options, haven't you, Michelle? Whether you want to use uh, the stamped imagery and then cut that, or you want to, um, you know, just use the stamps as they are. They are beautiful Absolutely. stamp in their own right. They really are. And I think you forget to do that. I think you get this little um, pack of the die top um, dies and the toppers, and then you sort of. Sometimes you. It's almost an afterthought that there's a stamp in there, but it's not. It's a perfect accompaniment to this little set it really is absolutely brilliant for making your backgrounds making um it a focal point like i am here so last one i'm going in with the just the orange so this is the orange blend and i'm going to do exactly the same i'm going to leave that middle bit so as my highlight there and then, am I the only one who turns the page round when they're colouring? No. You need a uh, rotating design board, don't you? That's what you need. I do. Do you know Have I you used it a little while ago and I thought it's the most brilliant thing I've ever used. Um, I'm meant to get one and it's one of those things that I haven't <clears> done. <throat> so going in with my dark and you can see, see it more actually with this one. Yeah, really nice quick project these as well for they a really colouring are. project, aren't they? Considering they give you something quite striking, not taking all that long to put together, which is no. awesome. Definitely not. And they're a, ni they're a nice size stamp for this. I mean, if, especially if you've not, if you've not used uh, pens before or you're a beginner colourist, they're a lovely size. You can really work on that um, blend with the three shades that there's not too much on there that's overwhelming that you think, oh, I can't colour all that in. I'm not that good. I've not had that much practice. So it's a nice, perfect size, I think, to uh, have a good, a good old practice and a play. So... Uh, remember another fantastic show coming up later for you as well. Uh, we will be doing a craft along. I say we will. Michelle will be doing a uh, craft along <laughs> on the sentiment die cut panels uh, later for you. 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. on the East Coast. So make sure you join us for that. Uh, for a lot of you, I think. Well, it must be. It must be the first um, craft along we've done in the evening slot. So uh, maybe lots more of you will be able to join us than you usually do uh, in the earlier slot. So it'd be good to get loads of us crafting along for that later show. You can see all the things that you need over on our social media. Um, pop across there after this show and uh, get all your bits and bobs gathered and ready for a lovely little craft along. So that craft along, the picture that the lovely social team have put up is a little bit deceiving because it's more oh, than is what it? it actually looks to be. Oh, yeah. they're under, underselling it. They are underselling it. It's a fabulous, it's a swing, um, sw a, swing uh, <laughs> a swing open card. A swing open card? Yes swing front card so um the four elements on the front i ain't got it with me or i could show you but the four elements on the front um 
where that beautiful die is that we've got, it moves up and down and my pieces swing open and close. Fabulous. So that's what I'm showing you how to do with those. Like a double dutch card? Um, no, much okay. more exciting than that. Oh, much more exciting. Ooh, <laughs> can't much wait. More. Uh, George is going to, well, the picture, the, the picture is, it doesn't really show you apparently, No, George. it doesn't. No, the picture sort of undersells it, unfortunately. <laughs> so I went into the middles with um, just our black. So I got my black classic and I just highlighted the middles and then I used the green. So I'll bring this one in um, so we can, I can try and fit more in for you. And then I just coloured it in with the green and again, highlighting or dark lighting with the dark tone. I just wondered why you highlight it, but it's the dark a bit. So anyway, so that's that one. That's, that's for the Ponder with Michelle show. So there we go. So that is that. And then what I have also done is, so I've cut, because we're going to make a nice big eight by eight card. So this is seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And so that's three and a quarter because it's going to matte and layer. So this is our textured card stock. This is the brights that I'm using. So these are going to matte and layer onto these. But what we're going to do first is, pretty sure, just seen a rocker block. Okie doke. So I'm going to bring a rocker block in and I'm going to put this on here. And I'm just going to give that a wipe because it's just a little bit sticky. I don't want to get anything on my project. There we go. I'm trying to start the new year as I mean to new go year, on. New Michelle. Trying to keep clean and tidy. How many people have completely failed all their New Year's resolutions <laughs> you reckon, by this point? Six days in, we're nearly a week in now. Have you got any? I um, know. Oh, Would you like some kitchen, kitchen towel? towel? Yes, please. I was going to say, it, the next thing we know, it's going to be summer and then we're going to be complaining that it's nearly Christmas and, oh, let's and winter not wish again. It. Let's, <laughs> let's not wish it. Let's not wish it away. <laughs> just just quite see here. I think it's going to be a fabulous year. We're going to have a really long, hot summer. Yes. We're going to be able to go outside and do loads of things and yes. go on holidays and, oh, I can't wait. So, what I've done is I've just got my rocker block. I don't need to bring my uh, stamping platform in for this. What I'm going to do is, so this lovely thing is also going to be matte and layered. And again, I've, um, I've brought in the same colours that I've sort of, to bring the flower out. So we're going to matte and layer that and it's going to sit on there. So what I'm going to do with the flower is I just want it to sort of use it as a border. So let me bring this in again, place that on there. So again, I'm using my alcohol proof black ink, um, purely just because it's there. You can use your quick dry one. Um, so just rock it on and off. Um, and do you know what? I'm, every single time I get that right, I'm just so happy with myself. Because Good if job. you use a normal acrylic block to stamp down with, I never get it every time. But with these rocker blocks, they're brilliant. They really are. You get a perfect image every time. So it astounds me that I can do that. <laughs> but again, it's the, uh, the product, isn't it? If you haven't got rocker blocks, these are just so much fun. So I'm just positioning it so I don't have the whole of the image on there. I'm just trying to uh, put it into places where I know it's going to frame my main poppy when it's on there. And again, I'm not going to colour these in. I'm just putting them on and making a background with it. So then I'm going to bring this in and see if I'm happy with the placement of my stamps on there, which I am. So we're going to move this one to the side and then I'm going to bring this one in. And I'm going to do exactly the same. This is going to matte and layer onto these and I'm going to have another one of these on the top. So I've cut two of these out. So again, I only need to make sure that I'm making sort of a border, a background border. There we go. I mean, this is something you can really play around with. I know Craig loves doing this and then like going around with it uh, with like a grey outliner. I mean, making your own background super fun, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. I bet your pigment ink pads would work really well as well in, in yes. this sort of way. Oh, definitely. Definitely. 
So just down here, trying not to get them next to each other. So, you know, making sure that they're all off centered from each other. So now I've got all my little bits and bobs together. So they're my little background. So we're going to mat and layer these up. So I'm going to bring in my tape pen. So yes, yeah, so these are from the Brights. Oh, I've run out. Oh, Tracy's going to kill me. I've used two tape pens already. <laughs> so we'll go on to this. So yes, yeah, so this is from our textured cardstock. Those 12 by 12 Brights pads that we've got. You get there's a Brights of pastels. And I think there's um, a sunflowers, I think, you know, the sort of green and yellowy orange tones. There was four in the set. There was bright, I'm talking to myself again, Anna, just sort of chattering away and you're all along for the journey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone's following along with you. Everyone, um, everyone's at home talking to themselves anyway. <laughs> We're all doing it. We do. It's because we all need an expert opinion. Of course. And the only one you can get is your own, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get this one stuck on the top. So we're going to make a nice 8x8 eight eight fold back card. And I'm going to make a, a point. I'm going to try and make a point of remembering the names of all the different cards that I make. So there, framing that with that red and orange really, really makes it pop, I think. So that's that piece. We're going to mat and layer it onto these. And again, this is from exactly the same pad. And there we go. And then we'll stick this one on. So there. That's a big card, this one, yes. isn't it? Do you so want a big, bold card? This is definitely the one for you. Yeah, definitely. So I haven't glued right to the edge there, but that's okay. So let's just move that to the side. So I'm going to bring in my base. So I've just cut two pieces of card. So one is an 8x8 eight eight and one's 8x9. Eight and that extra inch is going to be my tab. And then I've just scored it in half again to make that fold back element on there. So I'm going to use my tacky glue and I'm, the reason I'm using my tacky glue is I think for one I, I find it because I'm making a card base and it's going to be open and closed a lot I think tacky glue is by far the strongest so I'm just lining it up and then I'm just going to fold that over and then we're just going to hold it for a second to keep it in place if you do make your own card bases and you don't like to see that on the back, just put a nice piece of patterned uh, paper or plain paper if you, the back is for someone to write on over that, it's fine. And then there's my fold back. So, this is going to go, oh, excuse my big head, in the middle. So yeah, so I wanted to make a nice big card because um, I was using this, so my thought process was make the stamp into a nice topper, but then obviously use that for the backs. So instead of putting a backing paper on there, of a paper from one of our pads, I've made my own. So, so that's on the inside. And then again, so this is for the front, mat and layer this up. And you could colour your, I mean, the, I've left mine uh, as black and white. You could colour yours in, or you could just colour, what would be nice is just colouring one of the little flowers in, uh, just to make it pop a little bit. Really, really beautiful card. Will it be card of the show? Will it be card of the day? Will it be card <laughs> of the week? Will it be card of the year? Who knows? Ooh. 
don't know you want me to find out. You're going to have to stay tuned, aren't you? <laughs> I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back. There's a slight change as well to the weekend schedule. Uh, Lily's back uh, on Saturday with us uh, for a couple of shows, on, which will be lovely. Uh, Craig is actually in for Craft House now on Saturday night as well. Uh, Lily will be here with us on Sunday, with me actually, in fact, all day on Sunday as well, when we will decide uh, what, of course, is going to be the card of the week. And it'll be our first colour me happy in its new slot as well. Right, so that is my card so far. And what I've done is, so I've got another of those matten layers in those colour. And I got one of my stamps from the big, um, the big A4 binder. We've got the Christmas one and then we've got the rose gold and cream one. I can't remember, why can I, I can never remember the name. Of what? The, the big fold with all those stamps in. The got sentiment. The, um, yeah, the big folder. Yes, so we got the green one at Christmas, and this is from the cream yeah, one, so like the ultimate the first compendium. compendium. Yes. See, they, they were all sat there screaming that at the screens. Michelle, Absolutely, it's this. yeah. <laughs> Everyone else knew, just us, just me and you. <laughs> so, yeah, so I just picked a stamp, and I've, it says The past is your lesson, the present is your gift, the future is your motivation. And I thought that was just lovely. And again, I've just edged it with that stamp, just in my black ink. And we're going to put this on the front. So again, you can make anything into a nice big focal point on your card, just matting and layering it up with those colours behind. Just can really make it pop. And don't just think, you know, mat and layers are just one or two. You know, really go to town. Put three, four. I mean, as many as your nesting dies have got, um, you would be surprised how nice four and five mats and layers behind actually really does look. You will think, oh, that's a bit much. But oh, it's really yeah. not. So Can it that, ever be too much? I'm I don't think more so. I'm a person myself, Michelle. Definitely. You can Maximalist. <laughs> That's me. More is more. Mm, yeah, minimalism. Oh, it's all finished. It's all out. Maximalism. <laughs> it's, all, it's the way forward. So just glued that half, and I've I've used the back, um, the back oval to make sure that I've got that exactly in place and exactly where I want it to be. And then I've got this beautiful ribbon that I brought in from home. It's almost like um Jute, I want to say. Is that? Is oh, yeah. that it's, well, it's surprising like, what you it's find. Sort of Hessian almost. Yes, here. that's it. Surprising what you find when you have a good dig through your older stash at home. So that's going to go just there. And again, so I've just brought in some of these uh, these beautiful dewdrop ones. And I just adore these. So I'm just going to dot two or three of these on here. In no particular order just randomly so i thought that the nice um plain well not plain the dewdrop ones just added i didn't think that a nice colored one would go but i think that just looks lovely so just behind there look you've got those beautiful poppies absolutely gorgeous what a beautiful beautiful creation uh, and it all starts with you of course uh, grabbing a hold of these fabulous uh, decoupage florals let me take you through what you've got in that main collection again then one more time uh, in there you're going to get the precious poppies of course you're getting 48 sheets of the topper pad well, with the dies that you can overlay and then you can use those stamps as michelle just has there you've also then got the roses in bloom you've got the beautiful lilies and you've also got the spring is here. Six, uh, seven, should be over £100 or $147. You're looking at £75.99 or £108.95 today. Of course, your club inspired discount is going to take that even lower as well. So make sure you snap those up. I want to move on, uh, but before we do, let's show you some of the awesome pictures that have been sent in for, uh, by you guys. Renee sent this one. How beautiful is this, Michelle? Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, I love that. Really cute. Love what she's done there. She's still got another one as well in a similar kind of style, different colourway. Really beautiful. Love, love that, that cut and emboss folder that's been yeah. used there. It's really fantastic. Uh, and another one. She's been very busy as Renee. <laughs> she has. Yeah, really gorgeous. That's beautiful. Uh, Beth sent us in a picture as well. Beautiful little schmetterling she is schmetterling. Uh, creating there. Uh, she's got another one. Here's the front of it as well. Gorgeous. Oh, that's lovely. Really, really nice. nice. 
Um, Gilmore's done a fabulous box. I love this. Oh, that wow. looks awesome. That's beautiful. And it's got a lovely flower on the side as well there. Love it. Just beautiful. I really uh, love that she's uh, coloured that herself as well. Going to move on. I uh, want to share with you one of the um, hunky dory items that's proving very, very busy uh, at the minute. You guys are loving this. It's the Golden Age collection we're looking at. Again, it's the uh, Deco Large that you've got here. So really beautiful uh, designs, all in that wonderful Art Deco style. Uh, there for you, loads and loads in this one. It's a big collection, this. So you've got all of your decolage toppers. You've then got as well, all of your corresponding card stock as well. So if you want to use that as your card blanks, it's a 350 GSM. So it's a really nice uh, heavy weight of card stock that you've got there. So that is that element. Then you've also got your uh, inserts as well. Let me just take you through these and share with these with you. Uh, so again, really beautiful. All of that same imagery carried all the way through onto all 36 of the inserts. We've even got a, an 8x8 paper pad uh, in here for you as well. Uh, 160 GSM, it's got a really lovely uh, coating on this one. It's a real nice sort of high gloss finish that you've got. Again, matching all of that um, artwork from within the collection. Multiples of these as well, so if you do want to fussy cut them uh, and sort of layer them up and create some dimension, you've absolutely got the opportunity to do that. And then you've got some textured mirror card uh, in there as well. You can see uh, it's a beautiful black mirror with a sort of deep emboss on it and again you can see exactly the same there uh, on the gold which is awesome 39.99 or 58.95 if you want to get your hands on that let me share with you some of the things that you're going to be making with this particular collection really gorgeous you can see there can't you how uh, dimensional uh, those deco large items are when you actually put them together look at those i mean that is truly fabulous really really gorgeous uh, again these kind of ones here um, it's up to you how much height you want to put between them whether you're going to use uh, foam pads or your uh, chunky glue uh, but loads of different things that you can do and I just think they just do make a real wow project these ones so definitely grab a hold of those especially when you look at the price you've got a great saving uh, on there um, definitely definitely worth going to I love this lady here She's like an Art Deco Evita. I love it. Um, right, we're also going to move on. I want to share some of the Centura Pearl that we've got uh, on the show with you as well. So it's a bumper, bumper collection, this one. So you've got in here uh, your darks. Uh, you've also got in here as well. Oh, I'm not going to be able to. I thought I was going to be able to... Uh, <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to hold it like that. I'm not going to be able to. So you've got your darks first and foremost, uh, which is this. So the gorgeous purple. Centura Pearl, if you've not used it before, 310 GSM, uh, manufactured in the UK. The most beautiful shine and luster uh, on this uh, car top. So there's your darks. You're also going to get your precious metals, which is this one just here. Again, uh, this one, uh, 36 sheets uh, in there. Uh, all of those metallic tones for you. And then you've also got in here as well, the precious gold too. Uh, and again, 36 sheets of this one, all those different tones of gold within there. Really very, very opulent. Absolutely love that. 29 pounds or 42.50 uh, if you want to get your hands on those. Uh, right, let's give you an opportunity to check out those baskets. Very busy across on the website. Whilst you do that, here's all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Take all the hard work out of patchwork 
with the Gemini Build-A-Block Patchwork System. This innovative collection of multimedia dies allows you to create patchwork blocks with ease and total accuracy. This set includes 18 dies to cut a range of shapes and sizes for patchwork or quilting projects. They can cut multiple layers of fabric at once. They include an accurate quarter inch seam allowance, plus all of your pieces are cut exactly the same size every time. Follow your own creative inspiration or look through the 20 patterns laid out in the guide. Not enough? There's an additional 60 patterns online. And right now, we have amazing offers on the Gemini Build-A-Block Patchwork System. Quick buy, get yours now. Right, one of our fabulous quick buys for you there. I know Michelle's got another um, fabulous demonstration which is really keen to squeeze in before the end of the show. I just want to share something else with you. It's a nesting frame die collection, half price deal on these as well, which is amazing considering they weren't launched all that long ago. Within here, what you've got are all the different options. So you can see you've got loads of metal for your money in here and lots of different ways how you could uh, configure these and pop them together. You've got the deco swirl frame, the filigree frame, you've got the modern swirl, the decorative rose, the delicate lace, and you'll also get the abstract frames as well. 38.97 or 44.85, that's what you should be paying for half of them. You get all of them for that price. Of course, no one paying that price, so you're all getting some sort of club-inspired discount. Don't forget as well, uh, I know club-inspired points have reset. Lots of you have locked in uh, your level for the rest of the year. Also, as a little extra special thanks, everyone, every Club Inspire member that places an order in January will get an extra 250 bonus Club Inspire points credited to their account at the start of February. So that's always uh, worth bearing in mind as well. Right, where are we going to finish then today, Michelle? Oh, so we're going to, spring is here. So the, we you know we try to force, you know, Mother Nature to bring the warmer weather and get rid of that snow that's outside. So this is one of my absolute favourites. I just think this one is just so beautiful. So the, the topper and then the dies and exactly the same as we did with the previous ones. Um, they're numbered up so we know which order they're going in. We've got our little tab on there so we know that goes over the number one and it lays it up perfectly for us. Let me just put a little bit of tape on that one. So again, so bringing in the next one, and again, lay, laying my tab over the number and then sticking it down. So it really couldn't be any easier. And then get the rest off and do exactly the same. Oh, I thought I'd got the wrong one then. You know when you look at something and you think something's missing and then you realize it's not? Is that just me? You know, sometimes no, when you can't see something there. for looking. Yeah. There we go. So again, just going to run it through the machine. I love how someone's, someone's, someone's numbered the plate, one, two, three, and four, you know, in the corners, so we yeah, remember to flip and, flip and rotate. He was doing a uh, Gemini masterclass the other day and was talking about flipping and rotating the plate, so I think that's why numbered them up. Uh, are you, when are you, how are you here with us? Are you back tomorrow, Michelle? Sorry? Are you back with us tomorrow? Uh, no, just today. Just, today. just got me today. Oh, nice. And then I'm, I think I'm back on Sunday. Or Monday. 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 Yeah, definitely not Sunday. Don't, come, don't turn up on Sunday, because <laughs> you're not here. You're okay. here on Monday. <laughs> that's, a long, uh, that's a long way to come, for, to not be here. <laughs> to not yeah. be here, yeah. <laughs> so... Um, so what we're we doing, right, so there we are. So I just adore, adore this one. And I'm gonna do exactly the same. You don't have to, you can layer these up flat. They look just as beautiful that way. Um, Apparently it's Tuesday, Michelle, oh. not Monday. <laughs> You I'll don't not come turn in on Monday, Monday off. In fact, you know what? You've, been, you've worked so hard, take a couple of days off. Have Sunday and Monday off. Come oh, in on thanks. Tuesday, how about that? <laughs> I, I think I'll do that, thank you. <laughs> So, so again, you can see how I've just pulled that up there, but that's okay, because when I put my foam pad behind there, it's going to glue it down, no problem. So don't worry about um, that if you're as heavy-handed as me. You just have to be a bit more careful. Or, I mean, the thing is you get, what, do you get 80 sheets in there? Uh, 48 sheets in each one, yeah, so you're getting, 40, so yeah. uh, within the um, 
collection. I'll just change those details back for you. So 192 decopile sheets in total. That's you it, can yeah. buy extras as well, which is always wise with something that has a consumable element. Very busy on yes. the individual pads as well. And a lot of people bought this when we launched it. We'll be coming back now and stocking up on those pads uh, because they are so handy. Uh, of course, you can stamp and colour yourself using the dies, but uh, nice to have the uh, toppers there. Love what someone said earlier as well about adding colour to those printed topper sheets. I think that's a really good idea. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, you know, just because the image is already coloured up doesn't mean that you can't go in with your tri blends, your classics, your colour blend pencils. You absolutely can take all those uh, elements to these. So on this one, just where I popped it off a little, just going to use my foam pad just to close that back up. Right. Try not to stick myself to it. And then just, there we go. And then just finding the pattern where it needs to go, which is there. There we go. Um, Mary Lee says, I just spent the last two days making the fairy decolage. I did 12 of them. They're all stunning. I put them in shadow boxes for birthday gifts. My oh, granddaughters beautiful. will love them. That sounds gorgeous, Mary Lee. Uh, Evelyn says, I'd love to get a poinsettia decoupage set. Well, that would be nice at Christmas time, wouldn't it? Yes, it would, definitely. And the thing is, though, you know, you could do it with the poinsettias that we've already got. If you, you know, die cut a few out, you only need to, if you're you know, confident enough going in with your scissors to cut them down, do that yourself. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but this is the, the one that just takes all that work out of it, I suppose, isn't it? Which is why this is such a brilliant system that we've got. So again, just cutting my pads down to make them fit. And I like this one because it seems quite big, <laughs> for want of a better word. There seems to be lots of layers on this. I think there's only one extra layer on this than some of the others. But um, Could you double these up if you wanted to? We spoke about it earlier. I guess what you could do, not double them up, but could you double the foam pads if you wanted to? Do a double, double layer there? Absolutely. So these are a three mil um, depth foam pad that I'm using. You could absolutely double the depth of your foam pads up. Or if you wanted more elements on this if you cut two of two of them out um and then just snip into them yourself so you could snip bits out yeah. so for this piece for this flower there if you nice wanted idea. more on that you could just snip that out and add yeah. it on yourself i love that so, idea uh, christina asked if the top of sheets have a shiny or matte finish on them oh they're a matte finish right I mean, you so, could ink them as well if you wanted to. I was just going to say, so it's perfect if you wanted to mm. go in with your inks as well. So it's a matte finish, so it will take your inks and your pens, definitely. Absolutely. So that is my beautiful little um, decoupage topper, which we're just going to move to the side for now. Because what we're going to do is I'm going to bring these in. So these are our scalloped edge circle dies. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a lovely tentfold card to have that on prominent display. So what I've got is I've got a piece of card and it's 11 by 8 and 2. So I've scarred it in half. Let's just put that in there. And I've scarred it in half again. And then on this piece here that is folded in half is where I'm going to put my biggest. Isn't that my biggest? No, this is my biggest. So I'm going to use my biggest scalloped edge and we're going to cut a nice aperture in there. So I'm, again, I'm just lining it up. If you feel you want to measure it to make sure it's in the middle, um, but I'm just doing it by eye. I do love that saying, by eye. By eye. <laughs> it's very Yorkshire, by eye. <laughs> um. <laughs> Don't forget as well about the uh, craft along we have coming up as well later. Myself and Michelle are going to be having an awesome craft along for you. And also, not often we get to the craft along in the evening, so no. it'd be nice. Maybe we'll get some. Maybe we'll get everyone to send us in their sort of best gossip during that. How about that? <laughs> just, like, just like we're sort of chilling out of our mates, having a nice time in that later show. Yeah, definitely having just a nice. It's like a cup of tea and a crafty chat, isn't it? Absolutely. 
So there we go. So that is the base for now. I'm just going to bring my bone folder in just to re rescar those. And then what I'm going to do is I have got... So this is from... Where did I get this from? Secret Garden. So this is the, the lovely pearlescent card in the Secret Garden A4. It comes with the textured card stock and this. And then obviously that's from the paper pad. So I'm just going to mat and layer this up now. I could do with a tape pen, but I don't know if I want to ask Tracy. <laughs> she says, I'm the one who uses all the tape pens and all the foam pads. Hmm. I'll hold my hand up at the foam pads, definitely. So we're going to layer this on the bottom in the middle. That secret garden is beautiful, the paper. I love the vellum pad that's in there as well that goes with it. It's stunning. Yes, it is. Oh, it is so beautiful. It really is. It's one of my favourite, definitely. It's quite grown up, isn't it? I think yeah. that's what I like about it. Very classy. Yeah. It takes me back to my childhood, though, as soon as you say secret garden. It takes me right back to that book that I read when I was little. So, that is the inside. And what I've done again is, so again, I just cut um, a, a square of the paper and I'm just going to layer them on that. You can't see, can you? I'll let you see, look. I'll hold it down nice. so you can see. <laughs> so we're just going to put those on there. Um, I'll tell you I'll tell you for why because when I cut my aperture out originally right. I'd forgot to layer my patterned piece of paper over the top oh, before okay. I run it through and I didn't want to mess about trying to measure it back up cutting it out separately so I just thought what I would do is I actually quite liked the white with this paper so which is why I just went in with a couple of the pieces just I'll let you see look just on Beautiful. there so I just thought just Rather than doing colour. it the same way I always do, I thought I'd show you what I do. Sometimes if you forget to do that or if you're not quite confident enough doing that, you know, if you're still quite um, at the beginning of your crafty journey. So, pop those on there. And that's that for now. So we'll just move that to the side because what we're going to do is we're going to create a little base for this to go on. So this is the piece that I cut from in the middle um, of my card. So this is the piece that I've cut out. And the reason I'm gonna use this is because it's got that scar line along it. So when I cut a smaller one out, let me bring this in. So when I cut a smaller one out and I want to lay it in and know it's in the right place, I've got that scar line. So I know that when I line it up, even though it's smaller, because it's scalloped, it's going to sit exactly in the right place, the same place that I want it to go. So, if that makes sense. So, we're going to get a smaller one. And we're going to cut that out. And then I'm also going to bring in a piece of this paper. And I'm going to lay that under there because I want to cut a piece of that out as well. The same size. And the Gemini will cut through that card and that paper together. So I, I'm in a bit of a mess now. Are you? Try, try to well, say tidy. Well, last too long. It's only the 6th of January, <laughs> so... Just, uh, just get, trying about to get ten the minutes left the show. In a moment. In fact, can we do it now, Michelle? Do you want to um, take a pause there and do the... Have you got a finished one of these? I do have a finished one of these. Do you want to these? take a pause there and do the card of the show vote? Is that all right? Oh, absolutely. Fabulous. Uh, you can get a vote. It's going to be a tough week this week, though. It's been a very, very strong start to the week. Um, Becky's craft along yesterday. I haven't watered those roses and they're looking very limp. <laughs> <laughs> um, I better do that in a moment. Uh, right then, card of the show, Michelle. So, um, number one, I think, was the bag, wasn't it, with the tag? So we've got number yep. one. Number two was the card and box. Number three was the big one with the poppies. And then number four is the one that I'm doing at the minute. Excellent. One, two, three, or four, get voting. Crafters TV on Facebook. Crafter Companion, uh, if you are across on YouTube. Um, and we will select a winner, which is fabulous.
And it's going to be tough today. Some really awesome cards uh, in this masterclass. Uh, right, we'll go back to Michelle. Right, I forgot what we're doing then. Oh. So we, <laughs> we ran the, the bigger one through and we've cut out these smaller pieces. So let's get these stuck together. So before you do, stick them in. Make sure that you've cut one small, let me move that so you can see, small enough so when it is stood up, it's not going to hit the bottom. So it's not going to be hitting this. It needs to be a good couple of sizes smaller than the aperture that you've cut out. So I have got a piece of acetate and I've just put a bit of red liner tape along the middle because this is going to glue on that. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to glue it onto the inside of here. And because we want this to sit the same way, we're going to attach the acetate to this front bit, obviously on the inside. So it's going to attach to this side of the fold, not this side. So the side furthest away, it's going to sit on there. Because if you sit it on there and right. then glue your piece to it, it's going to angle backwards. Ah, uh, we don't want that. So let me, um, let me just tape this up just to each side. I'm losing it. There we go. Just there and there. So close that and then I'm going to take that piece of tape off. And the, this is where my line is coming in. So I know I'm lining it exactly up, exactly the right way. I don't think necessarily, obviously, if you're not using the scalloped one, it doesn't really matter. But if it's just a circle, it, it, you know, it's not going to, your scallops aren't going to not match up because it's not a scallop, it's a circle. <laughs> hmm. Oh dear. Is it home time? No, everyone no, knows what I'm talking about. To get. Got that craft look. We'll take it down um, after a peck or two, won't we, after today? Yeah. I and mean, we've been pretty chilled this afternoon anyway, but uh, yeah, we're going to finish my week in style anyway. Not, definitely not the end of your <laughs> week. Uh, we'll add that craft along a little later. So just moving my card to the side again, I'm just going to bring in um, two of the smaller ones. And again, this is from The Secret Garden. And I'm going to cut two circles out of these. And this is going to be my stopper. So instead of using a big strip across the, the front, I'm going to use these as the stopper uh, for the easel card. Um, just again, just to make it a bit different as to what I normally do, because I normally have a long strip as my stopper. Um, but don't forget, you can, you sh your stopper can be any size. It doesn't have to be the full length of uh, your card base. So, but there will, obviously, I will be putting them on foam pads because that's the whole point. Um, the stopper needs to be raised to allow it to, your card to stand up. So let's get this taped on there. And then foam pads. It's a really interesting card concept, this one. I can't say I've seen anything like this before, Michelle. Oh, really? Exactly like this. Oh. Well, I, I, I definitely did try to do some, do them a bit different. So when I'm judging where my stopper, where I want it to go, I open my card and decide where I'm happy with it going and then I will put my stopper, I'll just place it gently on and I'll make sure that I'm happy with the placement before I then go down, press it on and commit to where I'm, I'm putting it. So just one more quick thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring another topper sheet in and we're quickly going to cut another Oh, you're going for another one. We are. Oh, <laughs> six minutes left on the show. But I'm not going to, sorry? Six minutes left on the show. Oh, shall, how, how quick can I be? Will, will Michelle get No, this get is on. really quick. Okie doke. I'll be don't quick, forget uh, about the... It's worth the uh, wait. Don't forget about Cartload tomorrow night, the Sarah special Cartload uh, with uh, Sarah and Ben. 
7 p.m. UK time, 2 p.m. East Coast, 11 a.m. West Coast. It's one of the big three-hour Sara special cartloads with the goodie bags and all the other amazing things you won't want to miss. Uh, they'll both be here with that tomorrow evening, so do not miss out on that. Cartload normally this evening, which is a little bit of a switcheroo. It's now on tomorrow night. Right, so for my card, we're going to... I'm going to put this... I'm just going to use one for time on the, the middle. And then these that I've cut out, I'm not going to um, decoupage them up. I'm just going to use them as they are, just to decorate that like that. So that one's going to go there. So again, don't feel like you cut these out and you have to decoupage them up. You can use them just like that if you wish. Just sort of makes it look like um, background paper. And then a lovely little ribbon for on there instead. And then there we have, I'm going to just move on my mess for you so you can see it, my finished card. Absolutely so, beautiful. So using it as a nice focal point. Really gorgeous. What a beautiful, beautiful card that is. A card of the show is number three, Michelle. Um, oh, the big, the big The big one, one? I think, wasn't oh. it? That one. Yes, that large Thank one just you. there, really beautiful, um, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, let me just take you through uh, the floor decoupage. I must stick that back on uh, before the end of the show. Now remember what you're getting in here, then you've got the precious poppies. Uh, remember you're getting the decoupage sheets, the stamps and the dyes within here. Also those gorgeous roses, you've got the lilies and you've got springes here as well. I'm going to show you a few of the things that have been made uh, with these. They are absolutely beautiful. Uh, I must. You know I'm not going to remember to stick that stamp on there, it's going to get lost, don't you? Uh, let's just share with you uh, some of the beautiful things that have been made with these. Uh, great if you want to use them as an embellishment to your project, or you know, if you're using a smaller project, they could be the full project. Think about using as well uh, multiples of them on your projects if you wish. There's lots of different options when it comes to uh, how you might want to put these together. They do work really well size-wise with those other um frames that we had on the show today as well love that one how great is that very very simple um pattern paper little bit of silver glitter card around the outside really makes it pop on a white card blank uh, it's just fantastic uh, and again whether you are using the decoupage sheets whether you are coloring these yourselves you've got the option to do exactly uh, as you wish uh, and great i think if you maybe do need a quick card to have some of these made up you can see something like that have the top are done and ready to go uh, and you're going to have them in no time i also love as well the um different colors that people have used so you see the lilies here have been done but the lilies on this one are having been done in sort of a dark deep red tone which is really really beautiful so loads of different options for you uh, when it comes to putting these together and the sort of thing that you might want to create we're going to go and have a quick look uh, at meadow farm before the end of the show uh, it's been the most popular hunky dory kit on the show oh i can get these samples back in here here we go i'm just going to pop over here and grab it uh let me again share this with you really cool one this again the thing i like i love about this i think you guys love is that it's very craftable and very giftable uh you know if you maybe you make a lot of cards or maybe you could do card commissions and people say i need a card for x y or z and you don't really know an awful lot about them i think this sort of farmyard theme is a really easy way uh to create something that's very inoffensive and absolutely anyone can uh would be like to receive you know they're not gender specific or age specific in any way whatsoever which i think is awesome so you've got that in there lots of really lovely big toppers for you on there and then all that corresponding cast i mean and there's absolutely uh loads it's a whopper uh, of a kit that one now don't forget uh, you've also got in here your a uh, little book as well, the little book of uh, all these different farmyard animals within there. Six of each design as well, so if you do want to decoupage them, fussy cut them uh, and build them up, then you can do that also. And you will of course get the inspiration sheet as you do as always, and then you get all of your toppers in here, uh, not toppers, sorry, your inserts uh, in there as well, which is fantastic, all with that corresponding um, artwork which runs all the way through the collection. The great thing about that is a half price deal. You're all going to save a little bit more than that, aren't you? Because you're all going to use your club inspired discount as well. Don't forget Craft Along coming up in two hours and one minute. Uh, so that is when you will need to join us. Let me just quickly run through exactly what you're going to need for that Craft Along. Uh, so the frame sentiment stamp and die 
Uh, you've also got 12 by 12 papers, uh, a couple of different ones of those, acetate, gold gilding wax magnets, tacky glue, black ink pads and gems, and some other bits and bobs there from your stash, as you can see. Make sure you gravel that all together and join myself and Michelle in two hours' time. Michelle, thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure to do a masterclass with you this afternoon. Yes, thank you very much. I've enjoyed it thoroughly. It's been brilliant. Right, me and Michelle are going to go and get some dinner. Uh, you've got a couple of hours to get those bits and bobs that you need gathered together uh, for that craft lunch. We are doing a craft along uh, in the evening, but we're going to have a lovely time nonetheless. I will see you back here in a couple of hours. Take care.